Former NIU defensive lineman Craig Rush learned how tough it is to fight off a cut block. The biggest thing with cut block is uh, the element of surprise. You don't know when they're going to do it, when they're going to cut you. Um, they'll go, you know, five plays without doing it, and then they'll hit you on one, and then it slows you down. The move is when an offensive player dives at the knees of a defender, and it isn't just sudden. It's also very dangerous, making it difficult to simulate in practice, and there aren't many options. Right now, there's a device. It's basically a cut ball. It's a heavy, big medicine ball that you roll out at the at the uh, player's legs. It gets them an idea of, of you know, what position they need to be in to protect themselves, uh, but they know it's coming. Rush, a mechanical engineering major, knew there must be a better way. Before long, he recruited classmates Chris Newquist and Britt Mork, and the three took on the challenge as their senior design project, a blocking sled that hits back. And that's the biggest thing, you can't wait on it. So with this, it's supposed to uh, give the element a surprise to to be able to practice it. Craig brought it up and perfect opportunity for us to meld our knowledge of engineering with our knowledge of sports and put it to use. The year-long project required them to apply lessons learned from the classroom. It also taught them what works in theory doesn't always work in practice. Once we started building it, you know, it works on, works on a computer, but once you start actually building it, there's a lot of things that you, know, you had to tweak and you had to change and we were changing it right up to right up to the end and we'll continue doing that probably as well. Senior design project is a validation of the understanding of the student both of the theoretical concepts and the application of those theoretical concepts. It is a solution to a real life problem. I like seeing something that we see. It starts on a computer and all of a sudden you see it on paper and then a month, two months down the road you're using it on the football field. It's always interesting to find out what goes into the end product. They had to select the materials, they had to select the design, they had to weld, they had to go to the machining processes, and then they had to test the final product. So there are multiple steps involved in designing the final product. The sled got rave reviews from faculty, football coaches, and professional engineers. Our engineers are wonderful because they know how to solve real life problems. The creators of the sled are already looking to the future. We're in the process of getting it looked at for getting a patent. We're already trying to figure out the next prototype, where we go from here, as far as uh, modifications and upgrades. Possibly sell it, possibly start making them on our own, start our own company. For the Huskies, the future is now. They're already planning to incorporate the sled into their practices. It saves you a lot of time and as far as uh, getting things set up, it, it's there. Uh, it, it, you can reset it quickly and the guys can uh, get a great look. So we'll use it quite a bit.